Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420, and today I'm going to talk to you, or I'm going to explain to you guys what CBD is. So, cannabidiol, or CBD, is a non psychoactive compound found in some cannabis strains. It's known for being an anti, or known for being anti inflammatory, as well as attributed with helping alleviate some ailments, both mental and physical. I won't personally go into all of the things that it may help, um, just because I'm not qualified to do so, and then if we're going to be 100% honest, the science is still out on CBD. Uh, the way I'll explain that part <laughs> is like this. So, uh, I read an article uh, where they said that there was a study done by a neurologist over at New York, uh, at New York University, and the study showed that CBD reduced motor seizures at a rate similar to existing drugs, uh, which is a median rate of 36.5%. Um, and only 2% of the people in this study actually became seizure free. So what does that mean? It means that when you hear CBD and you see all these stories and you see all of these things that it might help and all these kids where they, you know, they put out the videos where it, it, it helps these people, um, you have to take that with, you have to see it with a healthy skepticism and you have to understand that it is not by any means a uh, a miracle drug. It only helps a very, very small percentage. And that's not to say that they should ban it the way that they have. I completely disagree with that because I believe that if something is natural and can help people at the same rate as a, as, as a created compound from a laboratory, then you should probably go with the, um, the natural substance more often than you would go with the created compound because you know one's like natural and something that's natural isn't necessary. While it may potentially hurt you, like, you know, there's anthrax, there's all sorts of things that are natural that can kill you, but this isn't one of those things. It's been shown to help, um, so it shouldn't be banned. And then the other thing I want to mention is when it comes to seizures specifically, uh, I know that people can get passionate about saying, like, somebody saying, like, yo, that's not always going to help, but here's the thing. I come from a place of understanding. My mom, uh, growing up, and all her life, she had, uh, she basically was born and had epilepsy, or very, very severe epilepsy. And um, to the point where like my entire childhood was, it was just a cycle of she got sick, couldn't like function for a month and I had to take care of like my family, my brothers and all that stuff. Um, and, and I'm sorry, I'm saying like, and I'm, the only reason I'm saying this to you guys is so you understand that I'm not coming from a, a, a completely heartless, just like, science-based like opinion. I understand that these things could have helped my mom and I wish these things would have been legal. She's out of the country now. Um, but like if, if these things would have been more readily available, then who knows, maybe they would have helped and maybe they will help her in that country that she's in now. But regardless, I, I was just telling you guys that so that you understand the backstory and why I why I, I approach everything with a healthy skepticism because I, I know the reality of it. I know that even if you're taking medications, my mom took medication her entire life, um, seizures still happened. And the say, that's the same thing with, with this. Like I, I know that it might help some people, but you have to understand that it's not a miracle cure. It's just something that can potentially help. And we're still learning. That's the thing. We're still learning. There's still so much that we can learn that, that hasn't been figured out. That They don't know how the other 80 compounds interact with CBD to like affect ailments and all that stuff. So there's a lot of science that's still out. And we just have to be... You have to be compassionate about the people who it can't help. Um, and then you also have to have a healthy skepticism against those people who want to tout this as a miracle drug. If those people who are saying this is a miracle drug that's going to like help you sell or help you get better are then giving you a link underneath that, you know, video, that description, that web page, whatever it may be, you have to think they have a reason to tell you this. It, it's just another marketing ploy. And so you have to be careful as a consumer. And that's all I'm saying. <sighs> so like I said, CBD is just a basic non-psychoactive compound that has some anti-inflammatory um, 
properties. It also is known to help some ailments, both mental and physical. You're more than welcome to do some research on it, but I encourage you to do research um, that, that's legitimate. Research from like universities where somebody isn't gonna be selling you something. Research from, you know, just make sure that the, at the end of whatever you're reading, somebody isn't trying to sell you something because when someone's trying to sell you something, they're trying to emotionally get you into that state to, to agree with them. And you just have to be aware of that. Anyway, this has been Recreational 420. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope this helps um, and I'll be back again soon. Any comments or questions, leave it down in the comments section. I'm gonna do my best to get back with you guys soon.